up everybody we're gonna hit a few thrift stores today and I'm also gonna take this stuff into the booth and I'll take you guys with me there but we are at the first Goodwill right now so here we go got done with the first Goodwill. Unfortunately, I couldn't record too much, but we did really well. I'm going to show you guys what we got here in depth. So first off, we got this IU clock. I believe it's ceramic. Uh, looks to be like it still works. Just needs a battery. I think this will do really good. I may put it in a booth or I may put it on eBay. I actually have the same one in my garage. I got a bunch of clothes. So the first piece is this Everlast Sport. And I've done really well with Everlast, believe it or not. I just sold like two pieces pretty recently. Uh, I just sold a South Pole thing, so I've went ahead and picked this up. Pretty nice South Pole hoodie. Our crew neck. Um, let's see what else. I got this Five Brothers plaid flannel. It's vintage. This I looked up and it seemed like it was doing really well. This is a really thick, nice piece, so I just knew it was going to be worth something. Uh, this is probably my favorite piece that I found. This is vintage Indiana. Vintage Indiana crew neck, super simple on the Hanes. Or Fruit of the Loom tag made in USA. One way to know it's vintage. Also, just single seams all around here. And all this stuff was only $4.99 each. All the clothes. Luckily, it's kind of surprising nowadays, but. Um, let's see which make sure. Yep, $4.99. I got this pretty nice Jordan shirt. It's like a uh, three-quarter sleeve. But it's nice. I, and Jordan does well. I know it's just a t-shirt, but I think it'll still do pretty decent. Let's see. One more clothing item. This is another vintage piece. And it is this, yeah, this will do well. I'll probably list it as Grandpa on eBay and it'll it'll sell pretty fast. It's a uh, American Traditions Authentic Classics on the big Hanes tag. Super big tag. It's vintage as can be. Down here it says it's a large. <clears throat> sure it says made in USA somewhere. But. But, uh, so this is vintage. I think this will do pretty well. It being in, what size did I say that was? Large. Yeah, I think that'll do really well. It's super thick. It's only $4.99, so. Um, I got these. I didn't even look these up yet, but they look extremely, like, shiny and, like, really good leather. These are Caterpillar boots. So yeah, these Caterpillar boots, super nice. You guys want to know the number, it's, it's the uh, stock number is 74145. So I'm going to look these up, let you guys know how much they're worth. I'm assuming they'll be pretty good. They were only $6.99, which is very, very surprising knowing Goodwill. Oops. And then you guys, I did take a clip of the fold-up chairs. Those are vintage, and those are really, like, uh, in stock right now, you could say. They, they do really well. I'll show you comps of those. I Google Lens them because they're to find the exact one, you have to Google Lens it almost. And it was going, for, I think they were going for around 60, 40 to 60. I paid six a piece. I got two of them. So that is our first trip. Now I'm gonna head to the booth real quick, drop this stuff off. 
I'll do a quick little segment on that and then we will hit some more thrift stores. We're doing good today. Awesome. finished packing up the booth and this is what it looks like now it's totally filled to the brim peep this little guy it's actually huge but... more golf balls down there at the second thrift store of the day today this is my favorite it's more a church ran so the prices aren't insane it's always good stuff um, I'll try to bring you guys in there, show you a few clips, but I'll definitely show you guys more in depth once I come back outside and I'll really go into depth about each item. So uh, see you guys in a minute. got out of this thrift store and we did pretty good I'm gonna show you guys in depth what we got here as you can see we got a whole trash bag of stuff only about four things though this this is fox fur I believe buttons up here everything seems to be working it's American Eagle I know it's you're not going to see that but real thick coat here Good lord. Big old American Eagle coat. Looked it up. One of them sold for like one over $100. So I'll put comps up on the screen to let you guys see. Oh, uh, got this 100% lamb's wool J. Crew. Oops. 100% lamb's wool. Just a nice sweater. Um. Uh, I got this for myself. Just a Carhartt. It's only $3.99. That coat was $9.99. The uh, J. Crew was $2.99. This is $2.99. Showed you guys this in there. This could be really good. Affliction obviously is always pretty good. It always sells. This is Affliction. If you guys need to see that. And this is totally embroidered. Got the, it's got the uh, jewels on the back with that huge embroidery. Denim. I think it'll do really well. And then last but not least is this Timberland weather gear made in USA. So this is vintage Timberland. Let me show you guys the tag first. Super. So this is definitely vintage. Yeah. <clears throat> and it is nice embroidery nice thick sweatshirt uh it says timberland rugged leather it's got the timberland side sign no stains that i see this was only 3.99 try to find a good comp on this i'm interested about this i'm gonna guess around 30 to 40 but I am not positive. So we have one more thrift store to go to today and we are, we'll be done. So I'm gonna get to this next thrift store. We're gonna knock it out and I'll show you guys what I get.
It's good out of that last Goodwill. Uh, it was okay. It's better than usual. Usually the prices are just absurd. You can't find anything. But today we got we got this this friends uh, little sweatshirt thing. I got it for Aubrey. I think it's gonna be too big, but if it is, we'll just sell it. Uh, we got. I was really really surprised about this find. I don't know why they only had $4.99 on it. That's rare. That's extremely, extremely rare. This is Spider. Super good quality. Spider. Spider's a really good brand. This could go for quite a bit. Um, the last shirt that I got was this Pacers. Pacers are good this year. So that's another reason I got it. And then I also got it because it's new with tags. And it was only $4.99. Pretty nice little piece. It'll do well. New with tags. And that's all the clothes I got. And then I also got that vacuum I'll showing you guys. I think it's OREC. Don't make fun of me if I pronounce it wrong, but uh I've been seeing them on TikTok all the time, so I was like, hmm, maybe the value will be there. Looked it up on eBay. It looks like it's going for about 100. Uh, I only paid 15. I've been wanting to test one out anyway, because I heard they clean way better than Dyson's and all that. We have a Dyson. So I'd like, I'm going to test the two, and who knows, maybe I'll keep the OREC. Uh, but uh, that pretty much sums up today's video. I hope you guys liked what I got. Uh, I think I did pretty good today. Spent a total of, let's see, 50 plus around 20 or 70 plus another 20. Well, we spent close to $100 today. But I mean, we should make multiple hundreds off that. So today was definitely a successful day of thrifting. We got all the stuff for the booth finished for the week. That's all set and uh be ready for more great content uh, that's all i have for today like and subscribe please and i'll see you in the next one